As I'm sure you already know, ChatGPT does not have direct access to the internet, so it's actually limited in data up until about 2021. That is all changed as some brilliant soul has come up with a Chrome plugin that will give ChatGPT access to the internet. I'll put the link in the description below. Once you go ahead and install the Chrome um, extension, you will need to refresh your window if you already have it up with ChatGPT. And you'll notice down below, you now have an option to search on the web. You got a couple of different options down here. You can ask for one result or 10 results. You also have time uh, re requirements you could put in there from the past day to any time. You can also minimize your search by reason. And then they have this default prompt. You can either use the default prompt or if you want to click on a new, create a new prompt, you can do that. And just so you know, if you click on new prompt, this is the screen that pops up and it essentially lets you know what the default prompt is and that it's using the provided web search results to write a comprehensive reply to the given query. And then it'll actually uh, give you a URL uh, where it's pulling that information from. So I wanted to test it out. And today in the news, I saw that Mount Washington has uh, set a record for one of the coldest, chilliest days ever. So I'm just going to grab this title, hit copy and paste. And I'm just going to ask, uh, tell me more about, and let's paste that article in and see what it comes up with. So here you go. It's letting you know that Mount Washington in New Hampshire has recently set a record for the coldest wind chill ever recorded. Now, if you're pulling news information on a regular basis, obviously you could have it then write a synopsis or you know whatever it is that you would like to do with it. And just so you know that it does not have access, I'm gonna turn off the search query. Let's go to new chat. And then let's do the same question. Tell me more, tell me more about paste. And let's see what it comes up with. Now we're limited to just the information that was uh, given to chat GPT in the first place. And so according to this back in 2004, it was minus 108 degrees Fahrenheit, which remains the coldest wind chill ever recorded. One thing you should note is that I did ask it to pull like database, to scrape information. And to the best of my knowledge at this point, it does not have direct access to websites, but simply web queries. So it's able to go in, look at a query and give you information about that. But uh, if you're looking to scrape or pull information from a website, it doesn't appear to have that capability right now but I imagine somebody's working on a plugin or some way of doing that. Curious what your thoughts are on this. If you found this video helpful, always appreciate a like, that way I know. And if you care, subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, take care.